All right, guys, welcome to the 47 week out physique update WNBF Pro Qualifier Contest Prep Series. If you haven't followed me on Instagram, I definitely suggest that you do at Gary Amlinger. I already posted this video on Instagram about a few days ago. Basically, what I'm going to be doing is showcasing one pose every one to two weeks. I'm going to be attempting to master that pose every single week and then move on to subsequent poses after that. So after this is going to be the side relaxed pose and following that will be the rear relaxed. Um, thereafter, I will be doing the muscularity poses like the double bicep, uh, the front lat spread, ab and thigh, most muscular, etc. Um, also, I decided to throw in a little bit of extra posing here, uh, showcasing the rectus abdominis and the obliques. Um, figured, you know, why not just throw stuff like that in there just to get an extra vantage point on my physique. Um, lighting obviously matters, so to get different lighting and a different setting is always a good idea. So after this little clip, you will be sent to my training. I hope you enjoy the training. This week, it's going to be a light quads and some pull day action that is coming up right now. Enjoy that, and I will see you guys after with some food action. guys just got back from the gym hope you enjoyed that training session today is my refeed day I have 510 grams of carbs as opposed to 460 um, I 
fucking excited. I can't wait to eat. So I'm actually gonna make some cheeseburgers, some french fries, and to top it all off, some Halo Top. So check it out. All right, the first thing we got is 93% lean beef, 7% fat. There's 24 grams of protein, um, eight fat per serving, and the serving is four ounces raw. So probably gonna have about six ounces of this and uh, throw a lot of good spices and stuff on it too. So I can't remember the last time I actually cooked burgers before. So probably pretty bad at it, but I found this Montreal steak seasoning, which is good for burgers, steaks and stuff like that. So I'm gonna throw about a teaspoon of this on my burger. And what's a burger without some garlic powder? And to top it all off, I'm going to throw some basil leaves on there. Pretty decent sized burger here. I'm going to fire up the grill and I'll be right back. Alright guys, so while that fires up, I have Nature's Own Hamburger Buns, 100% whole wheat. The macros for this on one bun is 6 protein, 24 carbs, 2 fat. Never tried it, looks pretty good. Four fiber in there too, so we'll give that a shot. Also got some Sargento reduced fat pepper jack cheese. Macros for one slice is five protein and four fat. Let's throw two slices on there. So some people might think it's weird, but I don't. Mayonnaise, I think is amazing on french fries and burgers, but only if you add it with ketchup. So I'm gonna throw a couple servings of this on, and oh man, it's gonna be so good. All right, the burger is pretty much finished. Um, gonna go for some crinkle cut french fry potatoes. The macros are actually really good. For this so I'm gonna have two servings of this which will come to four protein 40 carbs and seven fat with four fiber which is not bad at all so I would definitely recommend this if your fat is low uh, this is just basic stop and shop brand uh, french fries also guys I've been drinking a lot of this stuff it's Arizona zero calorie green tea with ginseng there's trace amounts of honey in it. It states that per eight fluid ounces, there's less than a carb. So I would say, you know, if you're having 16 ounces, 24 ounces of this stuff, you might have to track like a carb. But, you know, more or less, it's uh, pretty much zero calorie. It tastes amazing. I definitely recommend this if you're on a cut. Also guys, if you've never tried Halo Top ice cream, you're missing out. It's absolutely insane i've never had a bad flavor of this stuff and they have like a million flavors this i just tried the other day oatmeal cookie it is amazing i'm probably gonna have at least half of a pint after i eat this burger all right guys it is done there is that beautiful cheeseburger i'll show you guys when it's on the table too all done up it's amazing Got ketchup with the french fries. And to top it all off, two servings of Halo Top ice cream. I'm gonna devour this, I'm starving. I will see you guys in a bit. I'll show guys so I'm not really used to eating this many carbs um, kind of miscalculated I have like 190 carbs left it's now 830 so that is a lot so I'm actually gonna knock off a few more which is always a good problem to have I have the uh, brown cinnamon pop-tarts two of these about 70 70 carbs and a Yasso pop just to knock off some more carbs before my last meal. 
I am going to work on some client stuff now and I will check back with you guys when I'm up to meal number four which will be my final meal of the day so I'll see all right guys so it is about 11 30 p.m. I'm still working on some programs I'm editing this video that will be uploaded tomorrow night which is Sunday night I just prepared my last meal of the night as well so check that out so for everybody that says that I don't eat healthy that is a lot of vegetables cauliflower um, snap peas broccoli carrots all that good stuff and then I got some chicken with barbecue sauce and fat-free cheddar cheese and finally some more fruit got some blueberries in there strawberries so the macros for this meal are 48 protein 78 carbs nine and a half fat the total for the day is roughly 242 protein 510 carbs and 97 fat with like 75 or almost which is eh, borderline too much um, my stomach seems to be okay you really don't want too much fiber because that could blunt the absorption of nutrients um, Cliff my coach thinks 60 plus is kind of like the the max mark uh, so I gotta watch that but aside from that everything's going amazing uh, thank you guys for watching this video I tried to make it a little shorter this time I will be making these videos around the same length uh, from now on. So just trying to make it short and sweet, get to the point, and show you guys some content. So I appreciate you guys watching, and I will see you next week for the 46-week-out physique update and contest prep vlog. Thanks, guys.